And I'm not sure if you know, but July is also known as National Cleft Awareness Month. Every three minutes, a baby with cleft is born. Two time Super Bowl champ and former New York Giant, Matthias Kiwanuka is teaming up with Smile Train to empower children born with a facial difference. He joins us now. Matthias, appreciate you making the time this morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So I'm curious, Matthias, what inspired you to help children with this condition and become involved with Smile Train? Yeah, so when I was asked to join the board of Smile Train, I think for me it was a no-brainer. Uh, they are the largest, or we are the largest cleft-focused organization in the world with reaching 75 different countries, uh, millions of children and, and um, individuals who are affected have already been helped. So it was more of me just lending my time, my platform uh, to continue the efforts that they already started. And um, the biggest part that I, you know, liked about their model is the fact that they're empowering the communities that they go into, or we are empowering the communities we go into. It's not just to set up shop and, and to have an event and to leave, but these uh, communities are sustained over long periods of time, given resources, funds, education to continue to help more people even after a small train is gone. Yeah, following up on that, you're using the word empowering. So how empowering is it for you to see these kids and how their lives are transformed, especially when they're smiling? Oh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, to, to see the, the progression from, you know, an infant that's taken into the operating room in the mother's arms and not understanding anything that's going on to, um, you know, we had some 16, 17, 18 year old children at the Smile Train sports camp that we had in, in Columbia. And you get to watch them like actualize their potential in at least one area. There you go. That's, that's a good video. <laughs> Uh, Kenyon Drake did a great job. Jen, Jen did a, an amazing job. Uh, we really were able to have fun and to be kids again and to be in that that mindset and in that space. And at the same time, um, giving them, you know, like I said, like empowering them to use the skills that they learn at the sports camp to go on and do great things. When you look at some of the things that these children who grow up are able to accomplish, it's amazing, but they've gone through something difficult in the very beginning of their lives. How instrumental is sports in that narrative and making sure that it boosts their smile, let alone their self-esteem? Yeah, I, I think it's incredibly powerful. A lot of the lessons, what I say is a lot of lessons you learn from sports, the best ones are from, you know, kindergarten until you get to high school. You're teaching them how, you're teaching uh, young men and women how to rely on themselves, how to be accountable, how to um, work hard, be part of a team, but also to you know, stand up as an individual and be a leader. And so uh, when you talk to these these specific children, these smile trained children, they are generally light years ahead in terms of uh, what they can handle, what, what they've been able to endure. Uh, but this is an opportunity for them to shift their focus, start focusing on them and being successful and having some fun in the process. You know, of course, I can't let you go unless we speak about your Giants. How much football are you watching? <laughs> what are the expectations you have for the team this year? Yeah, the expectations are really good, and it's a great time to be a Giants fan. In all honesty, I spent uh, the last couple seasons doing, um, you know, ESPN uh, radio show with Anita Marks. We covered Jets and Giants, so I'm I'm in tune and and I I understand what's going on. And plus, I was in the building very recently. There's a different vibe. There's a different air. I think it started um, last year, um, but I believe this year is going to be. Um, it, it'll be much, much better. Let's just say that. You caused a lot of havoc in the backfield, and we'll put you on the spot. Mount Rushmore yeah. of Giants pass rushers. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lawrence Taylor, um, Michael Strahan. It, this is dangerous because you're going you're gonna to leave some great names out, and, you know, I obviously focus on the guys I played with, Strahan, uh, OCU Manure, Justin Tuck, um, Lawrence Taylor, obviously. I mean, there's some there's some guys now who are making a, a good case, but um, in all honesty, I think it's just it's it's LT and, and uh, Michael Strahan that are up there. Absolutely. Well, Matthias, we appreciate you making the time, all the work that you're doing with Smile Train. Thanks so much. All right, thank you. And to learn more about Smile Train, visit their website, smiletrain.org.